Hello everybody, let's, let's look at another shirt and before we go that, no, this is not my new NHL set that I'm developing. I'm not branching off, I'm staying with soccer. It's just I did the laundry and I washed all my NHL shirts and so they are hanging here now where usually my soccer shirts are hanging for the set. But no, uh, we're staying with soccer, we're looking at soccer shirts. There might be a time when we have a look at these, but you know, for now I want to stay with the beautiful game. Not the coolest game, how oh, nice. Uh, as you can see, still wearing Italy, still happy about that. Uh, you saw my videos yesterday that I was celebrating Netherlands, a little bit Italy, and I'm still in Italy celebration mode. So what shall we do? Let's look at my second ever Italy shirt. It just makes it fitting. Uh, and it's a weird story because this one, I saw in a store at the same store that I bought the uh, um, one Dutch jersey with the book, uh, all the 2008 uh, jerseys here in Linz, and they were kind of selling off. I think it was 2003. I was about to go to America, and um, I kind of was looking around. They had this section with soccer shirts, and I was looking, and there was a sale. And I see this shirt. And I see it, I think it was relatively cheap. I want to say 30 or 40 euros. Definitely uh, on sale. Um, and it was a 2002 Italy shirt. The one where at the World Cup they got kicked out by South Korea. Where actually I went into the tournament thinking, oh, Italy could do something. And I even tipped them to be my world champion. There was a time when I picked world champions. And I was always four years ahead. I picked... Italy in 2002, they became 2006. I picked Spain in 2006, 2010. I picked Germany in 2010, 2014. Um, I picked Germany again for 2014. Finally got it right. I decided I always go. Oh no, I know I picked Brazil. Didn't work out e either way. And honestly, this shirt at first when I saw it, there's things that I don't like, and what I mostly don't like is the color. I never thought that the color was so nice, but then I said, this really looks super nice. This Italy shield, and you have here the Kappa logo I saw, and then I saw also the three stars here on the sleeves, and I started liking it. Yes, the seams here on the outside, this was really brand new, this tight-fitting shirt, and so yeah, I decided to get it. I had only one Italy shirt and it was already, as you saw, my mom washed it a little bit too hot and it had already this wrinkly, so I needed a new one. It was XXL, so if I'm wearing it, this actually goes over my elbow a little bit. But I was very happy to have it. It's super convenient to wear. Uh, I'm still not sure about the color, I'm still not sure about the color, but it's a super, super, super pleasant shirt to wear. I love to wear it actually a lot. Um, it is, of course plane on the back and yeah it's the second installment of a revolutionary shirt the 2002 shirt had a nicer color it has just a crew neck that was a nicer color um this one had the you know it's a little bit weird this opening here but still uh it's the continuation of a, of a revolution this was the first tight shirt and now all the shirts are tight um, interesting also that on the side the blue is actually even a little bit light and you have this mesh but the fabric is so super soft and so uh, it really feels like a second skin and I don't have it only Kappa managed to do this uh, as far as I remember this was also the last Kappa shirt that Italy had they made the revolution and then Italy switched to Puma and I guess the rest is history we have not looked back since well let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, any memories attached to that one? It was the last Italy jersey that Maldini wore. That makes me sad, to be honest. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon with another shirt. Bye.